Shalom. Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> All right, folks. Uh, I've been following it in the news. The things are going on with um, Israel and our uh, our own administration and some of the Islamic countries. Uh, the Covenant of Many table. You've seen me do. Um, shout out to my brother TJ. Uh, who's asked me to pull up the abomination of desolation because, um, well, uh, some believe, <clears throat> let me just back up, um, hang in there with me, guys. It's good to have you back. I'm over in Matthew 24, and, uh, This is what's called the Olivet Discourse. Uh, and in this, the outline of the last days are laid out. What happens is the, the apostles come to Yeshua and they ask him, what are the signs of the end? And uh, it is here that we see an, an outline for the end times. Uh, it occurred to me early in my code searching that you could pull access terms out of uh, such scripture. Uh, for instance, uh, witnessing to all nations. Um, what is the, what, how is it, sign of thy coming. Um, Abomination of desolation, the return of Son of Man, um, great tribulation, um, time of sorrows. All of these terms can be pulled from Matthew 24. And what's really great about this is you can see um, Yeshua was giving us encoded stuff the whole time. And that's why I'm, I'm confident when... Uh, we talk about the, the fulfillment of the feast and Yeshua coming to fulfill these feasts and uh, him saying no man knows the day nor the hour after saying all of this stuff that is pretty much encrypted we are to believe that he's literal in that scripture <clears throat> uh, however I think he's speaking very um, cryptically and uh, what I want to point out here is in uh, Matthew 24, 15, um, it talks about the abomination of desolation. Um, when ye therefore see the abomination of desolation. And by the way, um, I, have, I have tables on the, on the other access terms. The abomination, abomination of desolation is what we're going to focus on in this one um, because there's something interesting about this <clears throat> at the time that Yeshua said this and Matthew is, uh, is making a note here and you'll see um, this had already taken place the abomination of desolation folks it, it happened with Antiochus Epiphanes um, when he came in and desecrated the temple sacrificing a pig uh, he put up a statue of Zeus and uh, the whole gamut. He literally verbatim uh, fulfilled what was written in Daniel. So, what is being said here, and excuse me, when you therefore see the abomination of desolation spoken of by, the, uh, by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whosoever readeth, let him understand. Now, this is the side note that Matthew makes. What he's telling you is Yeshua is being cryptic here. He's speaking in sod. So you need to understand. And the reason for that is because this had already taken place. That's why. Uh, so it is a good, highly probable that what he was telling us is when you see it again or when you see uh, sim symbolically this happen, then uh, here is the warning. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains, and let him 
he's on the housetop, not come down to take anything out of his house. So uh, with that, that is where the axis term, abomination of desolation comes from. And here it is. Um, and I'll show you. <clears throat> it's found in scripture three times, folks, uh, encoded. And what we're looking at is the actual the small one here, uh, abomination of desolation. Um, it's under 3,000. Very, very small cylinder that we're talking about. And again, um, you've seen me pull out my props. The cylinders, um, the scripture is wrapped around. Then the matrix that we look at um, is very small, it's less than 3,000. So every verse and every word found there is a statistical significance. I don't care what the rabbis tell you, uh, it not being in the first five books, Rick Shaw, this is significant. <clears throat> Abomination and desolation would not be encoded randomly. Uh, so let's go to the actual table. Again, you can see here it's 2793 is a width here. Abomination of desolation is right there. Now here's something interesting. America caps it with the mem. You can see Aleph, Mem, Resh, Kuf. Hey, uh, that's America running right through there. So America's got a tight connection to this. Uh, you see Israel going off the page up here. That is connected to, and by the way, I do have a PDF of this that I'm going to include in the bottom of, uh, of this video in the description box where you can follow along what I'm talking about. There are new co uh, uh, actual terms that are in here, but we can look at the ones that I have here now um, before we get into the ones that you haven't seen yet because I've done this table before. Uh, Obama is all over this, folks. He is everywhere. He's vertically over here um, as well as horizontally in this verse. He's also uh, in this verse here. You can see uh, that's, it says Obama, it doesn't say Mahdi. Mahdi is here. That's Obama that's there uh, for Lewis. <laughs> um, the Vatican is in here. Um, the Pope is also in here. You can see in black letters here, capping right there is the Pope. Um, but you also have Barack. Now look where, where Barack is, folks. We're talking about the abomination of desolation. When you see the abomination, the o Obama nation standing in the holy place, and Obama happened to be in Israel, in Jerusalem, in 2013, at the Church of the Nativity. And it is rumored that uh, he refused or would not go down through the gate of humility. In other words, he would not bow down. He was standing in the holy place. And here you can see his name, Barak, right there in the red, standing in uh, right here, this word going across, and sharing the letter to Kuf in his name, folks. Barak is standing in the holy place right here in the code. This is Betak Mikdash. This is the temple right here. Now, I don't know that this, if this will literally happen. There is... Uh, as far as Daniel's concerned with the abomination of desolation in the temple. Um, that's why it is a very good chance, even though the codes indicate there will be a temple or a talk of a temple in 2016, um, it is not yet there. So, well, conundrum. Where and when does the abomination of desolation happen? Well, some like my brother TJ um, believe that it's already taken place. And it's, that's a very good theory. Does the codes confirm such a thing? Well, folks, there's a lot of details here in this one place. Um, the year 2016 is written backwards right down here. Blood moons is in here. Uh, the, the end of the days or the, is right there with if Islam. Uh, we have uh, Antichrist. Um, Persona, personas here with uh, the king of Babylon. 
a couple times here, one on each side. We also have the Pharaoh um, connected to the word Akret, or the end, um, Abaddon. You can see Abaddon is right there. Now it's also here, goes off uh, the page. You can see the Aleph, Bet, Dalad, Vav, Nun, Abaddon, and it's also Aleph, Bet, Dalad, Vav, Nun. Sharing the Dalad is there twice. Um, but we're going to look at this in just a moment on the the, uh, the new table I've actually um, worked on. The updated version has some new information here that uh, I think we need to point out. Now, folks, the rabbis in the, the code world, um, the mystics, uh, believe because of what the Zohar has said, that there would be a star that would appear that comes in the sky. Now, we know Yehua uh, always deals with Israel and the people with signs and wonders. So there is a prophecy from the Zohar uh, that a star would appear right before um, the Messiah is a witness um, of what was about to take place. And this could very well be. Now that it was, we know there was a star before the birth of Yeshua uh, that was seen by the wise men. Um, there very well could be some other event when he comes again. Uh, I find it intriguing because the rabbis are looking for uh, a star. And so um, you started to see Nibiru come up in, in these videos that Glazerson's putting out, that he's, he's the only one that's putting out YouTube videos, but there are other rabbis that are working in the codes on it, and it's very obvious. Um, and they're concerned about it. So that is also here, you will see in just a moment. Um, the word atomic is here. Shemitah is here a couple times, um, as well as the temple. Hidden ones, uh, the Mahdi is mentioned. Netanyahu, his name is in the plain text on both sides, right next to Ishmael, the seat of Ishmael. We could see um, what is taking place. You see Ishmael and Netanyahu. Um, in Israel right now with the seat of Ishmael. Uh, this is interesting here. We've got guillotines, guillotines with the vengeance of Yahuwah coming together. You see right there. And you got Barak's name, Barak, and the plan. Now, this is in the plain text, and this is Abacus Effect, of course. Um, with these letters together, in one direction it has the plan, but read in the other direction is a harness. So you have the plan, a harness, and guillotines come together. Um, you have the eagle in blue, which is representing the United States, and you also have Israel that crosses over that. Um, the Pope and Obama again over here and uh, the words in yellow here of the abominations. You have Obama and the Pope coming together. There. We'll, we're going to look at those verses in just a moment. Uh, State of Satan up here. Um, we also have where it says behold the days are coming. Uh, you have the United States or America. You can see crosses there in the black and red letters. Uh, a state of Satan. Look, folks, the Aleph in that phrase is the Aleph in the United States. A state of Satan. Hear what I'm saying? Behold, the days are coming. Uh, the Caliphate is also in here. Nephilim, right there in the plain text as well. Uh, okay, now let, let me take you over to show you what is there that I've found here recently. Uh, by the way, they're in the plain text. On this side is abominations. Uh, Mahdi is also here. Um, but look at this. Uh, remember over here where it says uh, Abaddon? Right there. Look at here. Where it has atomic in the purple. Right there. Nibiru is here. You see in the black and green. Nibiru. Is vertical uh, with Hasatan, which we know when the dragon is cast out, which is Satan, 
uh, there's a star that falls, a star that appears. Now, when there is an appearance of some sort, whether it be the Messiah or the Antichrist, is there going to be a star? The high probability, folks. And the beer is also here in the brown, crossing over um, the actual access term. We also down down here in the in the black and red is uh, excuse me, uh, Solo Brit, which is the United States. Uh, Obama's name, like I said, Obama's name is all over this. Uh, written backwards right here, uh, the economy. Now, in the same line, you got these three letters, which is the fallen or Nefel, the fallen, right there in the same line where the caliphate is. Caliphate, mighty uh, king of Babylon up there. Uh, now, let's look at some of the verses that are here. Uh, this could have already taken place, folks, like I said. Um, very good, very good theory that some of you have that this could have already taken place. Uh, every one of these, these verses that come through here, I'm, going, I'm not going to go through all the highlighted ones, uh, seem to speak of uh, judgment. And, and, you know, just breaking the laws. Refusing to follow the statutes of Yahweh, and well, well, we'll see what happens here. We're in Jeremiah 49 here. Uh, you can see in the white where Obama's name is in, written backwards there. I'll start with verse 18. As a overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and a neighbor cities thereof said. Adam said, Yahuwah, no man shall abide there, neither shall the son of man dwell in it. Behold, he shall come up like a lion. This is the actual verse with Obama's name in it. You can see. He shall come up like a lion from the swelling of the Jordan against the habitation of the strong. But I will suddenly make him run away from her. And who is a chosen man that I made a point over her? For who is like me? And who will I appoint? Will appoint me at that time? And who is that shepherd that, that will stand before me? Um, this is really interesting here, folks. The earth is moved at the noise of their fall. We just clearly got finished talking about Obama uh, here with his name. In it. And, and it says, the earth is moved at the noise of their fall. And at the cry of the noise thereof was heard at the Red Sea. Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle and spread his wings over Basra. And in that day the, shall the heart of the mighty man of Edom be as the heart of the woman in her pangs. It's the pangs of the woman in travail there. Uh, reading on, folks, it says here concerning Damascus, Hamath is confounded in Afad, for they have heard evil tidings and are faint-hearted. There is sorrow on the sea, and it cannot be quiet. How is the city of praise not left, the city of my joy? Now, therefore, young men shall fall in her streets. Is that happening right now, folks? And all the men of war shall be cut off in that day, saith the Adonai of hosts. And I will kindle a fire in the wall of Damascus, and it shall consume the places of Ben-Hadad. Concerning Kedar, concerning the kingdoms of Hazor, which Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, shall smite, thus saith Yahuwah, rise ye, go up to Kedar, and spoil the men of the east, and their tents of their flock shall be taken away, and they shall be taken to themselves the curtains, and all their vessels and camels shall cry unto them. But uh, I think I skipped the whole verse here. In verse 24, Damascus is waxed feeble and has turned herself to, to flee. The fear had seized her. Anguish and sorrows had taken her like a woman in travail. And in time, uh, access term, it's a searchable term, a woman in travail. Here we go. Uh, this next is also in Jeremiah. And we are in the 50th chapter. Round 27 is what I'll start reading. Uh, Slay her bullocks, let them come down to the slaughter. Woe unto them for their day. It has come, time of their visitation. 
a voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon. Revelation says, come out of her, partake not of her sins. Escape out of the land of Babylon, to declare to in Zion the vengeance of Yahuwah Elohim, the vengeance of his temple. Call the arches against Babylon, and they bend the bow, camp against it around about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to all her work, according to all that she hath done unto her, for she hath been proud against Yahuwah, uh, against the Holy One of Israel. All right, in this next verse is Jeremiah 51, 33. For thus saith Yahuwah, of Adonai of Elohim, uh, the, the Adonai of Israel, the daughter of Babylon is like a threshing floor, it is time to thresh her. We're in the threshing right now, folks. You can see the resh in the eagle in that very verse. We are going on the threshing floor as well as Israel. Um, we know where all of the tribes were dispersed. He destroys those countries and drives them back to uh, the land in the end times. Babylon is like a threshing floor. It is time to thresh her. Yet a little while, and the time of her harvest shall come. Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, hath devoured me, and he hath crushed me, and hath made me an empty vessel. He hath swallowed me up like a dragon. Here's a mention of the dragon. He hath filled me, his belly, with my delicacies, and he hath cast me out. And the violence he has done to me and to my flesh upon Babylon shall the inhabitant of Zion say, My blood upon the inhabitants of Chaldea shall Jerusalem say, uh, Babylon shall become heaps, a dwelling place for dragons. Again, mentioning of dragons. Next verse, we're in Ezekiel by this time. Seventh chapter, sixth verse. And an end is come, and it is come. It watches for thee, behold, it is come. The morning is coming to thee, thou that dwellest in the land. The time is come, the day of trouble is near. It is not the sounding again of the mountains. Now will I shortly pour out my fury upon thee, and accomplish my anger upon thee. And I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense thee for all thine abominations. And mine eye shall not spare, neither shall have pity. I will recompense thee according to all thy ways, according to thy abominations that are on, that are in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am Adonai that smiteth. Behold, the day, behold, it is come, and the morning is gone forth. The rod hath blossomed. Pride hath budded. Mm. You can go see here in a moment, folks, and uh, we haven't even got down into the bulk of the access term yet, but here where the bet from the United States also got the word abomination, and there is from Ezekiel 18, uh, 24. But when the righteous turn away from his righteousness and committeth iniquity and doeth according to all the abomination that a wicked man doth, shall he live? All his righteousness that he hath done shall not be mentioned in his trespass, that he trespassed, and in his sin that he hath sinned, and them shall he die. Now take heed, folks. Uh, this next one, this is where Barak is standing. You can see the, the, the cough in his uh, name is actually in this verse here. 24, 21 of Ezekiel. Speak ye unto the house of Israel, thus saith Yahuwah, Adonai Elohim, excuse me, Behold, I will profane my sanctuary. Now look at this now. We're talking about an abomination of desolation standing in the holy place, the sanctuary. Behold, 
I will profane my sanctuary. The excellence of your strength and the desire of your eyes, in which your soul pitieth, and your sons and your daughters ye have left, shall fall by the sword. And ye shall do as all as I have done. Ye shall not cover your lips, nor eat the bread of men. Mm. Oh, I will profane my sanctuary. Wow. This next verse. Uh, also, Ezekiel 28th. Now, this is really interesting, folks. But if you don't know what the 28th chapter of Ezekiel is, hang on to your seats. And because we're talking about something here uh, in the end of days around abomination and desolation is Ro uh, Revelation 8. When there is a mention of Satan and when he is cast out. Uh, it's like a star that falls. We're talking about a dragon here. The covering cherub. Uh, if you didn't know, he is still standing before the throne accusing men. He has not yet been cast out and to fill the vessel that he will fill. Uh, even, even though there's a vessel, there's not... Uh, the evil one in him yet. So I want you to take a look at this. We're going to read from verse 1. Uh, excuse me, verse 2. Son of man, say unto the prince Tyrus, thus saith Adonai Elohim, because thine heart is lifted up. We're talking about Satan here, folks. Because, in the form of a man. Because thine heart was lifted up, and thou hast said, I am a God, and I will sit in the seat of God in the midst of the seas, yet thou art not a man, excuse me, yet thou art a man and not a God, and thou set thy heart as the heart of God, or the heart of Elohim. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel, and there is no secret that they can hide from thee. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast gotten thee riches and hast gotten gold and silver into thy treasures. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic, thou hast increased thy riches, and thine heart is lifted up against thine riches. Therefore, thus saith Adonai Elohim, because thou hast set thine heart as the heart of Elohim. Therefore, behold, therefore, I will bring strangers upon thee. The terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of thy wisdom, and they shall defile thy brightness. They shall bring thee down to the pit, and they shall die with the deaths of them, which are slain in the midst of the seas. Wilt thou say before him that slayeth thee, I am God? Thou shalt be a man, and no God, in the hand of him that slayeth thee. Thou shalt die the deaths of the uncircumcised by the hand of strangers, for I have spoken it, saith Adonai Elohim. Moreover, the word of Adonai came unto me, saying, Son of man, take up the lamentation upon the king of Tyrus, and say unto him, Thus saith Adonai Elohim, Thou sealest up the sum, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. Here's what we're talking about, Satan, folks. The other was an antichrist uh, vessel of the time. Here is where we're talking about the evil one. Thus saith Adonai Elohim, seal up the sun, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. For thou hast been in Eden, the, gar the garden of Elohim. Every precious stone was thy covering. He had nine stones on his chest. Uh, a type of ephod, folks. Covering the sardis, the topaz, when with the diamond, the beryl and the onyx, and the jasper, with the sapphire, the, em the emerald, and the carbuncle. Thou art the anointed cherub that covered it. Excuse me. Carbuncle and gold. And with the workmanship of thy tabernacle and with thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou wast created. Now, he had pipes that came out of him, folks. We're talking about the, uh, the leader of the choir. So when he spoke, it was like an orchestra that... Uh, when he spoke, it was like a, a full orchestra and um, singers. Uh, 
Um, thou was per uh, perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created, till iniquity was found in thee, and by the multitude of thy merchandise they have filled thee in the midst of thee with violence. And thou hast sinned, therefore I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of Elohim, and I will destroy thee, O covering cherub, from the midst of the stones of fire. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty, and thy, thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. And I will cast thee to the ground. He's going to cast him down, folks. He's coming. And I will leave thee before kings, that they may behold thee. And thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries by the multitude of thy iniquities. And by the iniquity of thy traffic, therefore I will bring it forth a fire from the midst of thee, and shall defile thee. And I will bring thee into ashes upon the earth in the sight of all men that behold thee. We're all going to see it. Uh, next verse. And this has got the Mahdi um, encoded in verse 8 of chapter 34. So let's go to verse 6. My sheep wandered through all the mountains and upon every hill. Yea, my flock was scattered upon the face of the earth, and none did search, nor seek after them. Therefore, ye shepherds, hear thee the word of Yahuwah. As I live, saith Adonai Elohim, surely because my flock became prey, and my flock became meat to every beast of the field, because there was no shepherd, neither did my shepherd search for my flock, but the shepherds fed themselves and not my flock. Therefore, O ye shepherds, preachers, hear ye the word of Elohim. Folks, if you go to a church and you're not getting fed, if they're not cracking open prophecy, if they're not exposing you to what is going on in the world, if they are sugarcoating, there's nothing wrong with the gospel, preaching the gospel. We need the gospel. But you also need to be aware. You also need to know Revelation. You need to know Daniel. You need to know Ezekiel and Isaiah. There's other parts of the book than the, the Brit Hadashah. Mm. But that's a word for the, the shepherds. You're failing the flock. Do you know there's two million this is a statistic that shocked me. There's two million people leaving the church every year. Two million. Where are they going? Next verse is also Ezekiel 39. Gog and Magog is mentioned in here. Uh, we'll go to 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that I will give unto Gog a place there of graves in Israel. The valley of passengers in the sea, east of the sea shall stop the noise of the passengers. And they shall run and bury Gog and all his multitude. And they shall call it the valley of Haman Gog. Um, and You've heard before from here in this channel and other places that uh, Obama's name is encoded. Same thing in uh, one line. Ezekiel 38, 39, Gog and Magog. The Jewish people believe he is the spirit of Gog. Now, uh, I want to take you now to Joel here where it says uh, hidden and is long right there. No, that's Hosea. That's Joel. We're going to skip through these. For the sake of time, we're already at 34 minutes. Uh, here we are. Joel, chapter 2. And here. What you who are saying here, folks? Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of Yahuwah cometh. For it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and a strong there hath not seen. 
nor been like, nor neither shall there any more after it, even the years of many generations. A fire devoured before them, behind them a flame burneth the land as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is like the appearance of horses, as horsemen so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap. Like the noise of flame of fire that devour the stubble. As, the, as a strong people set in a battle array. Before their faces the people shall be much pain. All faces shall gather blackness. And they shall run like mighty men. Shall climb the wall like men of valor. And they shall march every one on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks, neither shall one thrust on another. They shall ev walk every one in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. And they shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall, and they shall climb upon the houses. And they shall enter in the windows like a thief. And the earth shall quake before them, folks. And the heavens shall tremble, and the sun and the moon shall be black. The stars shall withdraw their shining. The Biru is in this table. And Yahuwah shall utter his voice before his army. And his camp is very great. For he is strong that executeth his word. For the day of, Yah of Yahuwah is great and very terrible. Who can abide it? Rent your heart and not your garments. And turn unto Adonai Elohim. For he is gracious and merciful, and slow to anger, and great in kindness, and repenteth of him of the evil. I completely blew a whole verse. Now therefore, saith Yehoah, turn ye even unto me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. He says in his word that if we would repent, if this nation would repent of the murdering of babies, if it would repent and turn away from the gay marriage agenda, if it would repent, and I don't, I don't mean just, you know, it's got to be mourning. I mean, people wonder, why is there not a revival? Revival comes when there's anguish, when you're on your face praying for revival. That's when revival comes. Anguish. There's no anguish in this country. Uh, this next verse is Amos. Amos, the first chapter. And I got sixth. And I will send fire upon the wall of Gaza and shall devour the places thereof. And there's a, there's a theme here. Uh, there's each, it's just destruction. Let's look here. Next verse, Obadiah. First chapter, verse 16. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, and shall all the heathen drink continually, yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though it had not been, even upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Uh, this is the return of Ephraim, 2016 right there. Blood moons is in here. Uh, and I believe we, I wanted two more verses to read in this video. And then we'll close it out, folks. And I've got other tables that I really need to get to. Um, but I just haven't had the time. And by the way, folks, I'm getting many, many uh, emails and requests. Are you going to Watchmen? Hear the Watchmen in Dallas. Folks, first of all, uh, I wasn't asked by the organizers to speak at that uh, conference. However, that's never stopped me before. Uh, but the thing is, people want me to commit uh, so that they can commit to going to the conference, and I can't do that. If you hope provides, uh, I will go down there. I'm more than glad to go. I probably won't be listening to the speakers, but uh, speaking with you guys. Um, so uh, that's where I'm at. I can't commit to, to go. If you hope provides a way, um, I'll be there. I will be there in uh, 
I'll let you know that I'm going. But as it is now, I cannot commit to going. But um, I, I, I wish I could, guys. I wish I could. Uh, and, and the other conference, people are asking if I'm coming to West Monroe. Uh, I don't, same thing. I don't know. Um, so we'll just see what happens. Uh, this next verse, we're in Zechariah. Fifth chapter. And like I said, it's just so much work. And, and I realize that you want me to come to uh, so you can speak to me personally and uh, about things. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. And the angel that talketh with me. And here we are. Abomination, desolation, things of the end of days, uh, the covenant of many. And here's Zechariah 5. Now, folks, if you didn't know what Zechariah 5 is, it, it plainly, I mean, I mean, you can't get no, if you can't read Zechariah 5 and understand, they're talking about, this is the exact measurements of an ICBM missile. That's exactly what this is. There's a mistranslation in Zechariah 5 when it talks about a woman in the basket. That word is the word ish, or fire. So here in the translation in King James of a woman in the basket is incorrect. It is uh, a fire in a basket, which is about the size of a bushel. And if you keep reading, this thing flies across the face of the earth, and it is an abomination. It has... Um, it's a nuclear missile is what it is, folks. So we got Zechariah 5 appears here. Uh, then we're down in Malachi is the other verse that I chose to cite. Third chapter, fifth verse. And I will come near to you to judgment, and I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers and all the adulterers and against the false swearers and against those that oppress the hirelings and his wages and the widow and the fatherless. And it turned aside the stranger from his right, and fear me not, saith Yahuwah of a uh, uh, host. For I am Yahuwah, listen to this, folks. For I am Yahuwah, and I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Even from the days of your fathers, ye have gone f away from mine ordinance, and have not kept them. Return unto me, and I will return unto you. Say it, Yahuwah of hosts. But you said, where are we, we, shall we return? Even, even where shall we return? Oh, yeah. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. But you say, where have we robbed thee? In tithes and offerings. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, where they may be meat in mine house, to prove me in now. Herewith saith the Adonai of hosts, If I will not open up the windows of heaven, and pour out a blessing, there shall not be a room enough to receive it. And you know, folks, he took care of the Levites. The tithes and the offerings weren't because Yahuwah needed it. Um, the Levites didn't have an inheritance. His priests, they worked in the temple, and you who have provided for them. When the sacrifices came with the lambs, they didn't just throw that out. That there was a that was a, a barbecue going on. He was feeding all of those. There was hundreds of priests that they were feeding. Um, so uh, Yahuwah took care of them by the people given to Yahuwah. Um, and so when you, for instance, give to this ministry, you're not giving to me. You're giving unto Yahuwah. And uh, I'm, by the way, I'm thankful for you guys. And I'm thankful you who have sent those of you that support this ministry. Um, you have allowed me to buy equipment like this microphone and this new monitor that I'm looking at, uh, folks, comes because you who have sent someone. Uh, it's not because of my own hand. Um, I'm a civil farm worker here. Uh, I'm, I make enough to, to, to live. I don't make enough to get out in the ministry. You who provides that. And I'm thankful for you guys when you respond to his calling. Folks, there's an uh, interview I got coming up uh, Monday with Zev Porat, live from uh, Israel. Uh, we're going to be getting a firsthand um, 
uh, aspect from foot, feet on the ground in Tel Aviv of what's going on and uh, some of the current events going on there. So be looking for that. That will be Monday, and it's probably going to be live streamed, by the way. So if some of you guys want to watch that uh, live. Um, again, keep this ministry in prayer, folks. Uh, those of you that have ordered lamps, lamps came in yesterday. So praise you for that. Um, some, some of you may have seen where I, I've, I've talked about the commerce have slowed down. Um, and I can testify firsthand where I've seen that. So uh, they are here, and I will get those out to those six people that are waiting on orders. Uh, I'm so sorry for that. And like I said before, you will get a, at least a $20 um, gift because of the weight. So you sure bless you. Uh, folks, I love you guys. I thank for you. Thank you for the new subscribers that are coming on every day. Hundreds of you guys are coming on every day. Um, thankful for you. Spread the word. Spread the channel. Uh, like the channel. Like these videos. And uh, share them as much as you can. we got to get the word out. The, this channel has been sandbagged and suppressed long enough. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm going to close it out. You will bless you in Yeshua's name. And I will see you. In the next video, guys.